Now, the, the only measurement you have to make on the of the rim, although you've got to make sure you've got the right number of spokes, um, this is a 36 spoke um, Sun Ringle Rhino light rim. I, I like these rims, they're very strong. The only, the only measurement you need to make is what, what's called the effective rim diameter, the ERD. Now the ERD is the diameter of the circle that touches the very outside ends of all the spokes as they sit in your wheel. Now you can imagine, see this spoke going through this hole? And it'll screw into the nipple and you hope that the if you get it just perfect, that spoke will go right flush with the end of that nipple. Now, there it is in place in the rim, and you can imagine that there's a circle that goes around the rim that just touches the very tips of the end of all those spokes. And that cir the diameter of that circle is called the effective rim diameter. And we need to measure that to put it into our calculation for spoke length. Okay, we're going to measure the effective rim diameter, the ERD, of this Sun Rhino light rim that we're going to use on our motor. Now first we're going to get a, a nipple, we're going to thread it backwards on the end of a spoke. So that, that'll help us measure. So we'll just put that in through the spoke hole that's next to the valve hole on this rim. And I'm just going to very carefully put a square up to the end of the nipple and adjust the um, the ruler so the ruler lines up with the end of the nipple so that's all lined up there and then I'll go to the other side the opposite side of that diameter of the rim and I'll put that nipple through the opposite spoke hole and I'll just bring the square up to it again and now I measure on the ruler that it's about 528 millimeters. It's close to 527, but I'll just go up to 528. Now, I'll measure the length of that nipple with these calipers, and that's about 12 millimeters. So, if I add on two nipples plus what we measured between the nipples, we get an ERD of 552 millimetres.